Fourth down, snap, kick, up. It looks good. It's good. It's good. Tigers win in yeah. overtime. 45, 42. Bone still with a win for Dawson County. What a win. Here's uh, here's Gibson. I'll get him right here. Gibson, a couple big returns here. The freshman. Uh, talk about tonight's game. Um, I felt like we came out really slow, but in the second half we came back in. Good job. Congratulations. Good job. Good job tonight. Now let's see if we can find. Uh, no, sir. Hey, talk about the game. Uh, hey, we're here with Zach, uh, the quarterback. It was a hard fought game. Came out ugly in the first half. The second half came back, plays the team, and won the game. So you, you're down seven there at the end. Tell us about that last drive, hitting a couple passes. What was the feeling like in the huddle? Team effort and chemistry. That's what going to practice is what we live for. Congratulations, big win for you, man. Thank you. That's Zach Coach Club. We're gonna see if we can find uh, uh, find some more out here. I know that these these teams are excited here. Let us start with senior here, Brody. Big game and a big win. Uh, yes, sir. It was uh, hard to, uh, hard to rally up in the first half. So we got to halftime and made a few adjustments of what we practiced on. And we just came back out and did our thing, played the game hard. And I'm proud for all the younger kids that stepped up. Well, you know, uh, you're one of the uh, few returning starters and everything. Everybody talks about youth. Let, let's talk about youth tonight. The youth stepped up. They grew up tonight in adversity. Yes, sir. Uh, Braden Hubbard had a big pick. Uh, changed a little momentum. We, uh, we lost a little bit. Came back. The Dakota Sonics is also a returning starter. They had that big catch going down to score that final drive. Zach Holtzfall stepped up. Yeah, yes, he did. Good game for everybody. Big win. The week off. We'll talk to you next week. Yes, Two okay. weeks. You said Riley Hunt, three catches for 51 yards is a big touchdown. We'll talk to him. Well, uh, now I've got him here. Talk about this win. First I of said all, for the Tiger. Yeah, four. Yeah, that's right. I'm there. Go ahead. So, big win. Austin Gavin. Yes, sir. Of course. Talk about that first touchdown catch. Uh, first touchdown catch. Uh, it's actually my very first varsity touchdown catch ever. Um, so it's that was big for me. It was a big momentum swing. Um, definitely got Zach Holtzkoff feeling good about himself, which is that's great. As a young quarterback, you gotta have him stable. You gotta have him calm throughout the game. But um, yeah, hats off to him. Uh, you caught a little trick with that with that fourth down conversion, also. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We've been. We, I'm not gonna say much about that. Good, good, good call at the right time. Yes, sir. Also, thank you once again, Rod. That's Riley Herndon. Caleb Bone still with a game winner. Uh, missed a couple that uh, early, but you got the big one that counted, right, sir? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Talk, talk about what's going through your mind as you've approached that. Uh, I just believe in what I do every day. Just stay confident. I know, know what I can do. So, yeah. Well, what did it do? set it up pretty much as just a slightly longer PAT? Just stay in focus. Just go through your team. Technique. All about technique. Uh, that was the bone, guys. Caleb Bone still with a game winning field goal. Uh, Brandon, back up to you. I'm gonna see if I, can... I don't see. Well, uh, explain the Geno Bowler. Uh, and so what, what that is. So this year, uh, this summer made a Geno Bowl 13, 13 years Bible school football. Following the lesson every night, Jonathan Tinsley and myself square off as we choose teams and we play all week. Uh, and at the end of the week, we sign the game ball, give it to the pastor, and it's known as the Juno Bowl. So 13 years where there's been a lot of former Tigers, even some former North for South Raiders have played in that game. And uh, we try to uh, increase the athletic ability and knowledge of the game uh, from uh, Mr. Tinsley and myself. And, and I'm sure we're a, a positive effect on these guys with our uh, – Old man skills against the young guys. Well, we we got Hubbard down here now. Yeah, right. yeah. That, so, you know, Bowler. Right. The first first question is with that pick six. How did your experience in the Juno Bowl uh, <laughs> prepare you for that? Uh, Brandon was uh, the Juno Bowl got me all pumped up about it. Tell it, brother. I knew if I could pick off Brandon Bennett, I could pick off any quarterback. <laughs> that's right. That's right. So once again, yeah, Brad, Brad's saying, yep, that's right. So uh, you know, we were talking about the Juno Bowl when, when you took that pick six, and uh, he said, there goes a Juno Bowler right there. So so tell me about that read when you jumped the route and took it to the house. I knew he flipped his hips and looked right at him, so I knew he was going straight to him, and I saw it, and I jumped it. And I saw the quarterback sort of behind me, and I was like, I, I guess he's the only one that can catch me. And he just stops. So I was like, shoot, I guess I'm going to take this one to the house. So what, what was the fi- final numbers on the return? I, I Was it 52? 
I think it was something around that. 52. So, hey, congratulations on the good win here, Braden Hubbard. Uh, be sure and tell him that he's my franchise, one of my franchise players now. He can never be on Tinsley's team again. Okay. If you've been tagged as one of Brandon's franchise players, you cannot be on John Tinsley's team again. Yes, sir. That sounds about <laughs> right. <laughs>